Hey guys, welcome back. This setup may look familiar to you. I think the last video I posted featured this motherboard and APU paired with an RX 580 GPU running Windows 10. This time we're using only the APU and we're testing out Windows XP and we're going to find out if this little APU would hold up okay as a retro XP gaming PC. As you can see here, this is an AMD Mobile Jaguar APU running 4 cores at 1.5 GHz with a very low 15 watt TDP. In mobile use, it supports 1600 MHz DDR3 in single channel. However, on this particular motherboard, the RAM speed is set to 1333 MHz and it can't be changed. The graphics portion is a Radeon 8330 with a GCN based chip with a clock speed of only 497 MHz and only 128 shader units. Looking at the chart on the right, you can see it's just slightly better than a GeForce 210. Hell, even a Radeon 5450 is much better on this chart, so that actually might be another option to look at. But irregardless, uh, we're going to check out some XP era games on this little APU and see if there's any chance it will pull through with some dignity. So here we go. I'm just going to roll some gameplay footage and we'll recap at the end.
Hey, bro. What took you so long? Try to find a way around. That's the ticket. Now the flowers will grow. Regret that! Stop or I'll shoot! Stop right there! Uh. Freeze! Drop it, asshole! Ah! I'm back! Uh. to get out before the whole area depressurized. I've just uploaded you some cybernetic modules. You can use them to upgrade your cybernetic rig at the upgrade units in this area. Wow, I, I don't really know what to say. I didn't expect really any performance out of this APU, but so far this thing has really surprised me. I mean, it's not great, but it seemed to do pretty well uh, with these older games. 
Limiting it to your XP era DX9 titles and older does seem to be a good use case for this setup. And you could actually install this in a pretty small case and with one little fan have an almost silent and very power conservative retro gaming PC. If you were to pair it with any other GPU, even a low profile Radeon 5450, which requires no power connector, performance should be even better yet. I'm really surprised. I mean, I may have to actually try to build something more permanent out of this. But, anywho, uh, I hope somebody found this interesting. I don't know what's up next. I have some remodeling work to do for someone, so the next video may be a little bit later on. But in the meantime, you guys take care, and I will see you on the next one.